I'm Scott from the Old Curiosity Shop, and I've got a haul of depression glass. Mostly depression glass. So, uh, everything that you see here was thrifted. Uh, I might have gotten one or two items from local flea markets. I uh, can't really remember at the moment, but... <laughs> Alright, let's see what we've got. Uh, actually, we'll start over here because you saw this set many, many, many months ago. And I've been holding on to it, and I said to myself, Self, do you need another set of depression glass? And the answer is no. Uh, and since I'm mostly attracted to green, as you guys know by now, I have decided to sell this pink set. Now, what's wonderful about this pink set is that it is a matching set. How often do matching sets of depression glass survive? Not very often. Of course, there could have been many, 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 and undoubtedly many more pieces, but what we have here, I would call a small luncheon set or dessert set for four. What you will be uh, getting or bidding on are uh, four cups and saucers, four plates, and a cream and sugar bowl dish. Now, I'm unsure of the maker this is elegant depression glass, so mold lines have been polished out and, and, and there's no imperfections in any of this. I'll let you see closely how, how pretty it is. There's a cup and saucer, beautiful in pink, and I really appreciate the fact that this is not etched. There's no etching on it at all. Elegant depression glass doesn't have to be etched. And this set isn't, and I kind of like it without the etching. It's an octagon pattern, eight sides. Decagon patterns were also popular. So that's a cup and saucer. And then here is one of the one of the plates. And as I said, that could be a small, very small luncheon plate, salad plate, or, or dessert plate. Pink doesn't really show up very well in when I'm filming. But you can see we have no utensil marks or almost no utensil marks on there. So you're getting a set in very good condition. And we can see that uh, the bottoms have been polished. 
as part of the manufacturing proce process. And this set dates to around 1930. It could be the late 20s, uh, but most likely 1930 to 33, something like that. Four cups and saucers uh, and the cream and sugar. Uh, there are no chips or cracks or defects or flea bites. This set is stunningly beautiful. Looks probably the way it did when it was new, and it can be yours. I like the Art Deco design, so that's that. And what I'll do is package it all together, and it's all going to go up for auction with a whole set, just like that. Okay? Um, there'll be really good pictures of it on my eBay site, as well as all the measurements and everything, so you can look for that coming up soon. Uh, oh, by the way, you hold on now. You knew I wasn't going to be able to keep this going forever, right? Okay. None of this is listed yet. I've been trying my best to get things listed before I do the thrift haul so that it's already available. But I will tell you that all the everything that you see right here is going to be in the eBay site um, within the next... Oh my goodness. I'll say before close of business on Monday. How about we say that? It's currently Friday. Friday. Is today's Friday? Yeah, it's Friday, late, late afternoon on Friday. And this should all be in the shop. Uh, over the weekend okay um, so when we talk about elegant depression glass Cambridge Heisey you've heard me rattle off the names before so I won't do that but um, I'm not sure who the maker is on that one of the good companies these two pieces over here are uh, Cambridge this one I showed you when I was holding it up out in the living room but I wanted to I wanted you to see it a little bit better here under the light and it's a uh, divided three-part dish in an elegant pattern with a lid. Love that. Could be used for all kinds of things. Candy or anything on the dinner table. And then uh, two open bowls back here, which were probably mayonnaise, probably mayonnaise sets. They don't have their ladles. ladles. But wow, I found two. Can you believe it? Yeah, absolutely matching. I'm pretty sure these are Cambridge as well. That's a pretty typical Cambridge handle. Sometimes Cambridge is marked with a C, but because these have this uh, decorative finish on the bottom, embossed design on the bottom, there's no, there's no C for Cambridge. So there's the bowl and then the underplate, which you can see matches it perfectly. Uh, so, there are two of those, and I don't know if I'm going to put them together or auction them separately. I haven't decided yet. Two cake plates, cake stands by Jeanette. These were given away for free in sacks of flour. And some people call it the daisy pattern or the sunflower pattern. But there's one in pink and there's one in green. And they're identical except for the colors. This one will fluoresce under a black light. Uh, I have sold both of these several times over. I love these little things. They're, they're very common in my area anyway. These two are in perfect shape with just a few tiny utensil marks from slicing cake. And there's the pattern. And we can see it stands on three feet. One, two, three. Okay. And this is exactly how it was produced. Did, what didn't come with a lid of any kind. There's the green one, and then the pink one is the same thing. All right. And then you, you saw, oh, I don't know, about a month ago, I had a crackled glass vase in green. And now here are the two sherbet cups that I found if, uh, this week. This is the crackled glass of the late 20s, circa 1930, 31, something like that. This came on the scene in the late 20s, and it's an embossed crackle as opposed to the glass actually being cracked. So you, it, there's, you can feel it. There's a, there's a uh, roughness to it because that pattern is actually in the glass. So this is really an early form of depression glass, and I love this crackle glass. That is also <laughs> a piece of glass. It was a lamp, and I took the awful uh, socket off of it and cord off of it. It's a frosted glass, 
And you may say, oh, but that's from a Victorian, Victorian oil lamp. Well, I have seen this form. Let me get down low here. I have seen this as a Victorian oil lamp, and that is what it looks like. This one, however, for whatever reason, was wired electrically. So I'm going to put a uh, socket back on it and turn it back into a lamp. You can see it's clear glass that has a, a fired on blue sort of frosted color on the outside. And I, I sort of have a hunch that this was actually manufactured as an electric lamp, maybe in the 1930s. Uh, and, that, and that it was never really uh, a Victorian oil lamp because, just because. <laughs> so I am gonna turn it back into a lamp, but I just haven't done that yet. So I wanted to show it to you to let you know that's coming. And then finally, a, a cruet set on a Lazy Susan. This would have been, this was a popular item on uh, kitchen tables, informal tables, for many, many years throughout the Victorian era, probably even before that. And uh, it's great to find one with everything here. Now, the only thing that's missing are the stoppers for the two cruets. Now, that's, nah, that's okay. I mean, that's not too difficult of a replacement. You could go out and find yourself two uh, glass stoppers for these oil for the oil and vinegar cruet. The back here is the salt and pepper. And we can see that they, they fit down in here and they revolve as they're supposed to. The little lids are all hooked in place as they should be on both of these. No damage to the hinges or anything. Although, there we go. And then little spoons would go in. And then the whole thing spins. And every, everything fits down in. The cruets are all in excellent shape. There's no chips or cracks in any of it. It's very clean. The silver plate, of course, is long gone from the metal stand, but it's still charming. Don't you think? I think. And still very useful, even for a modern a modern table. Okay, so uh, oh my goodness, it's heavy. So we'll put that back there. So that's the only piece that really wouldn't be uh, considered depression glass. All right, so backing up and letting you see this uh, very small thrift hall. Um, which, as I said, I'm going to be putting this all together, taking the pictures and getting it listed this weekend. Well, thank you for watching, everyone. Have yourselves one lovely weekend. And this is Scott from the Old Curiosity Shop saying thanks for watching and so long for now.